Hi, um, today I'm gonna continue with the 3D modeling. Um, first I wanna, one thing I forgot to talk about is change views. For example, uh, you can easily change views if you want. Um, like, you know, if I create a box down here, you know, if you wanna, because, you know, all, most of the computer, they have small keyboard, number keyboard. If you click zero, they will turn to top plan and this uh, click one they will go to left isometric and two is front three is right isometric so basically just zero and one so they will automatically change views for you um, just remember that um, then we'll talk about um, extrude there's one really important thing um, here I want to say I said the um, strip the screen plane. Usually, you know, you want to go here and just work working plane only. But screen screen plane are important too. Um, the only thing, only time you want to use it is when you're gonna use extrude along path. Okay, um, when you're gonna draw profile. Okay, anything associated with the profile. Screen plane are really important. Um, for example, right now I'm in screen plane. I, I, for example, I want to draw a profile. Um, just draw here, here, or whatever, and then I draw a small circle on it. And then see, you know this profile won't change okay no matter how I change my um, views and then I just draw polyline make sure you that's important okay make sure you don't draw in screen plane for for the pass okay right now I'm drawing the pass for uh, extrude and then you go to make sure you go to layer plane and then you can draw this is the pass okay See, I uh, I just draw, you know, just a little bit past down here. Um, so, so this is my pass, and then I have my profile. What I do is I just select all of them, and then I go to model, extrude along pass, and then they want you say, oh, select a pass object. Make sure you select the pass object with this one, and then. You click OK. What they do to create this kind of um, shape, it's a little bit crazy, but that's fine. Um, you just double click it. You go to profile. I, I think my profile is too big. Um, just make make them a little bit smaller. I'll just select all of them. Modify scale object. Make them. 0 0.5 click OK extrude see it's a little bit better okay um, then the next thing is you can change the pass uh, basically just double click this is pass you click OK and you'll see there's some uh, my pass have some issues here usually when you do pass you don't want to like huge turns okay um, so if I change it since we're getting better, okay. Uh, so I got a smooth kind of a bench thing in here. Um, um, here I talk about screen um, play, which is screen play. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the difference between polygon, um, like 2D polyline, and the nerves. For example, I'm drawing two nerves. So this is nerves and this is um, 2D polyplane. They're all in the uh, layer plane, which is 2D. But when you draw, for example, draw rectangle. See, if you draw rectangle here, um, if you set up the uh, plane to automatic, see, they always do 2D horizontal in the layer plane, okay? Like this. But when you set up um, this the working plane to automatic, and the, if it's a NURB, then they will draw it just vertical 
to the um, base on the nerve. Okay, um, that's really important. Um, so you could easily do extrude, um, select, select, and uh, you can extrude along pass. So you can easily do that if it's a nerve. Okay. Then uh, the other thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, extract tool. This is a really important tool. Basically, you can extract a lot of um, service. For example, like this one, I can click. Then uh, you can extract basically anything. Okay, the uh, ISO map, uh, parametric curves, you know, the edges, you know, those kind of things. In this case, I can do faces. If you click faces, see they will do create like faces for me. Sometimes the faces are not that accurate. Um, so what you do is just like make sure there are enough vertices or that. Um, but I think this one should be fine. And then uh, I have a service line here. Okay. Uh, so what I can do is I just um, for example like let me just draw some small um, just like zero point five zero point five down here. Um, let's go to one. Let's change my views back here. So um, I have this one, and then let me rotate. So let's say I do something like this, and then uh, what I do is really easy. I select these two, um, and then I select this face. And then there's a tool called Create Service Array. What this do is it's basically just feel like 2D patterns, okay? Just feel this service on this face, okay? Um, you will see what happens when I uh, do that. You know, there's a dialog, like object info dialog box in here. Uh, basically, you can change that once you see here. That's basically what it was. Um, but you can change the X and the Y. Let's make Y, let's say trendy. See here? That's basically what I mean. See here? These are the shapes I created, and they will create patterns like this. That's really cool, okay? And make sure there's display base face. Let me just drag this out. Um, see here? There's uh, display face. Um, if you change, delete. You know, cancel that, then they will have those. Okay. Um, you can also give angles. For example, I can make 25, 45. See, they become angle like this. But most important thing, thing here is overlap. Make sure you, you do it as trim. Once you click trim, just wait for a while. See here, this is trim. Okay. So they will do things for you. Um, let's, we can actually make it more. On Y, so see it's it's even better. Um, so this is one thing. Um, I want to show you another thing. Um, is for example, you create a interpolate service. You just draw it down here. Um, you can create um this service. Then you can edit. Um, one thing I want to make sure I want to uh, mention is, um, if you want to see here, sometimes when you drag, it just it can be any positions but if you hold shift they were looking for see all the axes okay see either 30 degree 45 degree or the blue which is here so see here so it's very easy if you want to try to find um, the blue one you just you know just search just see is where easy they will attach it to it um, like this one see anyway um so then, what you can do is just um, like last time, just draw some random shapes and like this. And then um, this time, I'm gonna open the snap tool, snap to meet point, and then go to. Move this so it could create some shapes like this, and then I just select them all. 
similar thing. I just create service array. Click OK. You'll create things like this, and then you know, you just add you know things like this. You know, then what they do, you can see um, some frames, okay? Some like three D frames. Um, kind of cool. Um, actually, if I put more here, let's say ten, there were more fine grades down there. That's how we do it. Um, thanks.